Moving on, jury deliberations in the trial of Hunter Biden on federal gun charges have begun. This is a historic first criminal prosecution of the child of a sitting U.S. president. 54-year-old Hunter Biden is accused of lying about his illegal drug use when he bought a handgun in 2018. His trial comes less than two weeks after the conviction of business fraud charges of Donald Trump, the likely Republican presidential nominee in November elections. Our next report getting you more details. Take a look. Hunter Biden's case is now in the hands of the jury. After closing arguments wrapped in his criminal gun trial on Monday, he faces felony charges that include lying about his drug use on a gun purchase form in 2018 and illegally possessing the revolver he bought for 11 days. He is pleaded not guilty. The federal government case is the first criminal trial of a U.S. president's child. It's offered an intimate view of the younger Biden's years of struggle with alcohol and crack cocaine abuse, which prosecutors say legally precluded him from buying a gun. Last week, Hunter Biden's ex-wife, former girlfriend, and sister-in-law all testified about his drug use. In the prosecution's closing arguments, a government attorney said common sense understanding of the grim testimony of Hunter Biden's constant drug use filled in any gaps in evidence about his behavior around the time of the gun purchase. The defense, meanwhile, compared the government's case to the work of a magician who focuses attention on drug use for months or years before the gun purchase to create the illusion Hunter Biden was a user of crack cocaine when he bought the gun. The sentencing guidelines for the charges against Biden are 15 to 21 months. But legal experts say defendants in cases similar to his often get shorter sentences and are less likely to be incarcerated if they abide by the terms of their pre-trial release. And for more on the Hunter Biden gun trial, our correspondent Susan Therani has sent us this report from New York. Take a look. The jury in the Hunter Biden trial has begun deliberating after closing arguments from both sides. Prosecutors argued that the evidence against the Biden was, quote, ugly and overwhelming, while the defense claimed the prosecution failed to meet its burden of proof. The trial saw several key witnesses testify, including Hallie Biden and Hunter Biden's daughter, Naomi. But Hunter Biden himself ultimately did not take the stand. The jury did not reach a verdict and will continue deliberating. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden has said recently that if his son is convicted or found guilty, he won't pardon him. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World is One.